how to stop toxic people from living rent-free in your mind using self-hypnosis. Now, you may know that your mind is designed to be able to use hypnotic techniques. And really, hypnosis works very well by using symbol imagery metaphor. You paint a picture and it becomes really vivid and really impactful in your mind. Now, somebody who's been toxic absolutely wants to take up space rent-free. That's what makes them happy, right? That's what they want to do. And you may even find that there's someone taking up space in the theater of your mind, starring in your play, and you don't really want them to, even if you haven't spoken to them in years. And in fact, they might not even be alive, but you can find that they are really just kind of nagging, influencing your self-talk driving you a little batty. So here's what you can do. Knowing that your mind loves imagery, symbol, metaphor, use that, paint a picture. You could imagine that they are in a watercolor and you just imagine painting over that, erasing, turning the page. You can imagine they're a character in the book of your life and you write them out of the story. You can imagine shrinking them down to size and putting them on a shelf way back in the corner of your mind, or even better, just ushering them out the door. You can imagine washing your hands of them. It really doesn't matter. And you're not harming anybody by doing that, but you're setting yourself free from basically a character and that no longer belongs and the story of your life and certainly doesn't deserve to take up space rent free. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And that's self hypnosis to stop toxic people from living rent free in your mind.